There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world April and today's video is going to be another glueless full lace wig. This is from a company that I've never heard of. However, they reached out to me, so I agreed, of course, to do a wig. The name of the company is called iLaceWigs.com, and it, of course, is in China, which is fine. It's an international website. Now, I was able to pick out a unit that I want, so I went for the light yakky texture. I did request a lighter color. I think it was supposed to be like a chestnut color, but I got a color number two, which is fine, only because the quality of this wig is really, really good, so I'm not too concerned about the hair color. Now, first of all, it's 22 inches, and it's a glueless full lace cap. But the thing that I noticed when I first opened it up was I said, okay, this looks like a full lace with combs, but it's actually a glue lace. A glueless. Um, it does have the three combs in the front, so there's one here in the middle, which I'm not really a huge fan of, so I'll remove it. But there's the adjustable straps in the back, um, as well as the quality. So the thing that I noticed, it does have the stretch panel in the middle, but the quality of the tape at the nape of the area is really, really well, well made, and the way it's sewn, just the lace itself, is a really, really good, well-made wig. So that's the one thing I was impressed about when I seen it, as well as that, the hair density is really good. It's not too much, and it's not too little. You know, I like a lot of hair, so, mm-hmm. But I didn't do anything but style it because I wanted to see did this light yakky wig or is this light yakky wig going to be able to curl. You know, you need a little curl. Some of them don't curl, but this actually gave me no problem. Straight out the box was perfect. I didn't even have to wash it to put the part in. All I did was go ahead and train the hair and with some a uh, lot of body setting lotion and just put a stocking cap on top of it while it was on the mannequin head and allow it to dry for like a couple hours. So it came out pretty, it curled super easy. It does not go silky when you add heat to it because I've had ones in the past, long, long, long time ago, where they actually kind of went silky after you add a little heat to them over time, but this one actually didn't. So I just put some loose curls, I didn't cut it, I didn't do anything, I didn't even cut the lace yet because I wanted to show you girls the quality of the actual wig itself. So your wig does come in one of these boxes and it's standard, it comes with a brush and wig cap as well as the plastic bag. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off and I'm going to be adding some of my concealer just to give it that scalpage look. And in case you're wondering, what is scalpage, girl? Scalpage is when you want your wig part to look like your own scalp. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I already went ahead and cut the lace off. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I did forget to mention. Um, when you go on the website, there's no bows and whistles. It's nothing too fancy. So don't get turned away or turned off. That was my first impression when I looked at the wigs. I was like, mm, okay, nothing really special. The quality is not going to be that great. But when I got the wig, I was more impressed with the wig than the actual website. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So. But this one, I'm going to be honest and tell you this. The color matches so well to my own natural hair because it's the color number two. And that is the actual color of my own hair. So it blends so well in the front. Um, you wouldn't even be able to tell that it's a little bit like when I wear like a 1B. The color is darker than my hair. Even with natural wigs or virgin wigs, the hair is always darker than my own hair color. So sometimes I can tell that my hair is a little bit lighter in the front. 
um, but with this one I can't tell because it's the actual same exact color match as my own hair which is perfect now the one downfall about the unit and this is no big deal um, but the combs the actual combs were kind of placed in the wrong position in the wrong area they're kind of back here to where they need to be up here which gave me a little issue of putting it on because of where the combs were placed but that's easy if you know how to sew then you can take it out and sew them back on where you want them positioned what I would honestly do with the middle comb that's right here I would just put it at the nape area because I'm not really a huge fan of the combs in the middle they really don't do me any justice um, it kind of is harder to place them so I never use them I always take them out so I would actually place that comb back here now as for the wig is it shedding a few hairs did come out um, and I'm gonna just show you right now a couple of little hairs did come out nothing major um, but other than that it's a really great quality wig now for the density this is more average looking more realistic looking a lot of people don't like a lot of hair like me myself I like a lot of hair I like a lot of hair just like a lot of hair and that's just me it does look natural it does look realistic there's nothing wrong with the knots the knots are really good quality the wig is made of great quality they just need to reposition the combs and I'm not sure if all of them are like that but this particular one the combs are kind of not in the right position but it is a very snug fit that's a plus so there's no gaping or sagging in the actual cap and like I said it does stretch in the back area um, there is no elastic on the sides I do notice that some glueless full lace wigs do have like a little pull right here there isn't any of that so it just basically fits how it's gonna fit um, and that's it there is the adjustable straps in the back so if you do want to open it up you can but 22 inches and honestly this seems a little bit longer than 22 inches more or less on the 24 inch side so yeah if it's longer than 24 inches then hey I'm good with that too I like long hair and I like a lot of it but for the most part I like the color a lot very similar to my own hair color really easy wig um they do have a lot of wigs like i said the website is not any bows and whistles it's not all fancy but the wigs are affordable so that's the that's the one good thing if you're going to get a website and with bows and whistles you're going to pay more for the actual unit so no bows and whistles but with the actual unit some bows and whistles just a little bit of criticism or reconstructive criticism it was made regarding the combs but other than that it's cool. So like I said, it did come from China, ilacewigs.com. Never heard of this website before. So if you girls are interested, you can always check them out. I'll post their information for you girls below. There is one in the same texture that I wanted. It was um, the chestnut color. It was kind of like a light brown color. It was so pretty, really, really pretty color. And that was the one that I was going for. But I'm kind of glad I got this one because the color is a perfect match. And the hair texture is really good quality. So I hope you enjoyed the video. All the information will be posted for you girls below. Stay Diva and Divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you want a wig, custom wig made for yourself, you can always check out my website, going with the winwigs.webly.com. As well as that, as you can check them out for any in stock or video units as well. So I'll see you girls in my next video.